when you look through the biomedical evidence, and we did that in curating all the evidence for compassionomics, you see that burnout and compassion are associated, but it's inverse, inverse. So the preponderance of evidence in the biomedical literature shows an inverse association between compassion and burnout. If what I was taught in medical school, don't care too much, you'll get burned out. If that was true, it'd be associated in a positive direction, meaning high burnout, high compassion, low burnout, low compassion, right? Yeah. There's inverse. So high compassion, low burnout, low compassion, high burnout. So some people want to just jump to the causation argument to say that burnout crushes compassion. But after going through all the available evidence, the predominant, the, the, the preponderance of evidence in biomedical literature, we see that it's much more likely that it's actually the opposite that's mm -hmm. true. So it's the people who have more compassion are more resilient and have resistance to burnout. And why is it? Because they connect more with patients. They get the benefits, like they, they get the, the good part of taking care of patients, the uplifting part of taking care of patients, like what it means to take care of patients. They get all of that. They get those benefits. So yeah, they have a stressful job. They either, you know, really hard work, super busy, high stress environment. Yes. But when they connect with their patients, that's building resilience in them and resistance to burnout. Whereas if you don't connect with your patients, then all you have is a super stressful job.